Hello and welcome back to Europa Universalist 4. I am Lord Farns here playing as the mighty Qing Empire. We are only slightly smaller than the Ottomans, although we are significantly weaker than the Ottomans at the moment. But we are moving to change that. We have now pretty much successfully invaded Japan. We've got another We've got another war really till we break the Ashikaga, but we destroyed the Tokugawa. And uh Good start. Very good start. We also recaptured quite a bit of land for our vassal, the Orate, who actually really like us now due to that fact. Um, I don't think I can meddle, oh, meddle with them. No, I can't. Okay, I could enforce religion on them, but I think that would be a bit cruel, especially since I don't think they have religious ideas. They don't. Okay. Well, um, I should probably should move my army out of that wasteland desert province we are also going to try and get some absolutism now because we need some we're over a third of the way through the age of absolutism and we still don't have any absolutism nor do we really have uh, any splendor Unfortunately, there's not much I can do about that. I mean, I guess I could build the universities. That might be the easiest way to do this. Build five universities. Well, we can start with two. Uh, this trust apparently has sprouted between me and one of my tributaries neighbors. Go. We'll get some military power. We will get another military tech. We will get leather cannons, which will be nice. And we will also snag another idea group, which we will do probably military offensive, just because of the sheer stacking value with our double shock on top of the free one we get from movement, on top of another shock upon another fire is absolutely ridiculous. We will have one heck of a military. Um, okay, so we'll, re we'll drill our army in Japan. We will take this army and we will also move them to Japan. We're going to have to be a little bit careful about this fleet. I don't know if I can actually take on the actual Japanese fleet yet. Probably not. Let's see, what's this? That's... They've got heavy ships. No, I can't take it on. So I'm going to have to pretty much take land provinces and then fight my way um, to their capital. Take the, take the land there. And then figure out what we're doing from there. They have reformed into Japan, which is worrisome. Really, right now, all they have is discipline out of it, though. Discipline and quality and offensive ideas. They have yet to get their infantry combat from their finishing ideas, it looks like. Which, if we can beat them up before then. If we can take this area in a war, they'll be permanently crippled and easy prey for another war. Uh, let's make Western Korea into a territory. Oh, as much as we can of it. Uh, need 82 more. How are we doing with uh, it's actually not worth it, is it? It isn't worth. It isn't worth trying to get the the absolutism yet. Great. Oh, sigh. Oh well. I'd like to get the absolutism, but until I can get this 50% harsh treater, harsh treatment. Sorry, not harsh treater, harsh treatment. Um, the cost is still, you know, a hundred monarch. Uh, military points. I'm actually better investing that in my government, to be honest. Oh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, Royal Marriage with Mong Yong has finished. Um, ooh! We can actually culturally convert a province. Wangju, we can make it Manchu or, and get a production, or we can get religious harmonization. I'm going to take the Manchu. It should allow me to raise another banner. Later on. 
I don't know. Yeah, I could actually raise a banner there now. I could raise quite a few banners. Wow. Considering our corruption still hasn't ticked down below 6 in, what, 150 years? Probably deal with that before I start raising any more corruption. Honestly. Okay, we can fight these guys in three years. Until that three-year war period comes, I think we'll wait. Get a claim on a couple more of their provinces. Stop improving relations with the Arate, because we're already pretty good relations with them. If I ever kill the Kima, I'm Mongolia. I shouldn't even need to send troops. I should be able to sit back, let the Orate do it for me. The Orate is up to 13 troops, so that's good. Buryata is happy. Pretty much all my tributary states are doing fairly well. Although, uh, Jarkand, who we were trying to defend, did in fact die. Which is too bad. Um, we want... Oh, you're... Well, actually, we can't get anything from you because you're not a tributary state. Uh, I can give knowledge sharing to these guys, though, which I probably should do. Oh, they, I'm already sharing it with Buryata. Fair enough. I will let Buryata get printing press and global trade. Um, price we pay for influence or ministry. Uh, price we pay for influence. Money is a, a rather pre precious commodity for us. 3,000 some odd debt. Um, we are a despotic monarchy. We could shift to an admin monarchy. Probably should do that, shouldn't I? Okay, switching monarchy. We're going to lose... Actually, we're not going to really lose much. We're just going to lose one uh, unrest. And we already have pigtail or death, so that helps quite a bit. Yeah, pretty good shape. As long as we're positive, we've got very good uh, unrest control. I mean, I can make it really ridiculous and go humanist, but that's not worth it. Let's get another claim on another Japanese province. Hopefully one I order this time. We're going to leave Korea to um, be occupied by my vassals slash vassals. I'm not making any of them a march. I don't need to. Although the Orate would make a fairly good march. We won't do that. Instead, we will pick a fight with these guys in June. Uh, let's raise my forts. Yeah. Make sure that somehow the... Mongolians don't somehow sneak a province on me. Uh, one of our people died. Reinforced speed should be good. Be very good. And there we go. We'll declare Mongolia. We will sit back. We will raise war taxes. We will prosper. And we won't even have to do anything. We should win that war without even trying. Our next target might need to be Kazakh and Yarkand. We'll see. I wouldn't mind beating up Russia again, but Russia has already pretty much hit their full size. They're not going to get any larger other than invading Europe. Or invading the steppes further, I guess. Russia's got a vassal, so... Prussia apparently got independent somehow. And I was right, my really good heir I got a couple episodes ago just died. Eh. Typical. Typical, typical, typical. Russia does not have the Prussian government form, sadly. Sweden... Sweden is being killed by Norway. Okay. Norway and Denmark are killing Sweden. This might be the largest Norway I've seen, except for the one time I played Norway. Pretty good Norway. And... 
uh, Mongolia. There we go, the Mongolian fort has fallen. They are still not willing to accept peace. How typical for an AI. We'll pay off one of our loans, going down to 2,400 in debt. Nice to see. We can now pick a fight with Japan, which we will do promptly. Um, let's just peace out Mongolia here. Uh, the nasty thing to do, of course, is force them to revoke as many cores as possible and take as much money as possible. Since we still have no absolutism, we can still keep raising economy. I would love to get absolutism, it's just not working that way. Okay, let's pick a fight with Japan. They're level Miltech 18, how are we? We are 18. Okay. Um, we don't actually want to spend any of those monarch points. Clear war for that one province. Quickly race forward and occupy it. They are very weak. Apparently. Of course it is Japan, so weak is a relative term. Very relative. Um, I should be able to sit back and let my vassals occupy that region. I'm not too worried. If we take this fort, we can then move on to Kyoto. And then we should be good on that front as well. Tech-wise, we're doing good there. I'm offending everybody by protecting my own trade, but that's the way it goes. Let's get you out of here before the Japanese fleet destroys you. No. Mongol separatists have returned. I believe I can trust my vassals to take care of them, although I have to keep an eye on that. Let's snag that mill tech, the admin tech. We're actually now ahead of time in admin, well, ahead of our other scores in admin tech, which might be a first. I think we've been behind in admin tech pretty much the whole game. Nice to be ahead for once. This could be quite a fight here. And it isn't going to be. Good. They've actually been trapped, apparently. They're not willing to do a straight crossing into an, uh, one of my armies waiting, which means I should be able to fairly safely siege down the rest of uh, their capital and their other forts I can get to. Hopefully without even actually picking a fight with them. Mongol separatists are causing problems, but the Mongol separatists are going to be dealt with without me even really having to raise a finger. Exactly what you want to see. 622 heir, probably not going to live to take the throne, but you never know. At this point, I am so jaded about getting good heirs and then not letting them live to take the throne. At this point, I just assume all good heirs are dead long before our, uh, they actually are. Like, it's there must be some increased chance of their death if they've got good stats. Because if you've got a zero zero one heir, he'll live to be really old. It's very frustrating. Okay, we can wipe them out of Korea, which might be a good move. We'll see. I'd much rather leave them with some Korean lands and instead take over their Japanese territories. Look at them. This is where the AI's commands start to get a little ridiculous. They know that I don't have enough ships to take them out, so they instantly blockade all of the uh, crossings, which in some respects is good. And let's just wait. There we go. All right. Uh, oh, I'm actually going to lose that fight. That is not good. That is not good at all. Retreat, retreat, retreat. I thought I'd win that one, but I guess I was wrong. Um, what are you going to give me? Not much. Okay, we're not going to accept that. We are going to demand much, 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 much more land. Yeah, 
We'll wait until they are red and want peace. We'll wait for a red peace deal rather than a yellow peace. Uh, we could now fight the Orate again, but we don't need to because they're already a vassal. They're proving to be a fairly useful vassal. Colony is done, so let's move on to another one. Our other colony should be finishing shortly as well. Our name is getting larger and larger and larger without us even having to do anything. Isn't it wonderful? We all know, of course, names are power. The larger the name, the greater the power. Which is why the Ottomans, despite as big as they are, are still weaker than me and Russia. There we go. This should be the end of the Japanese military here. Or at least their big army, if I can uh, ambush them. There we go. They are putting up one heck of a defense. Full Elan and everything. Still not enough. Sorry, Japan. It just wasn't your day. Yeah, that might be as much as I can take, but still, that pretty good start. Uh, now nah, we'll keep pushing it for a while longer. I should be able to get a higher war score than that. As long as I don't let them retake their forts, we should be good. Um, let's raise this guy again. Oh, reduced unrest. Even nicer. Still a long way to actually getting Age of Absolutism bonuses. When do we get the next accepted culture next level? Okay, next level we get another accepted culture, and then we will actually have one of the Age mission things done. What are these technically called? <laughs> they don't actually have a name apparently. They're gonna flee to uh, be a new land apparently. There we go. That is a better war. Just avoided going over 100 over extension, which is what you want to do. And we took everything else we wanted. We must have, I don't know how much development we stole, probably about 100 or so. So we should be, if I'm correct in my calculations, the largest nation in the game. No, the Ottomans have expanded once more. Oh, how typical Ottomans. How typical Ottomans. Typical, typical, typical. Let's get some claims on Japan, and then we will depart Japan for the time being. Um, who are we going for? Uh, probably Yarkon. No, they're a tributary state. We're going for Kazakh, then. That makes sense. The Kazakhs. And let's... Transport you off this island. Uh, still have no absolutism, so... I'll just happily use that. Trying to subdue Japan is a pain. I'd prefer not to have to deal with rebels at the same time. Um, actually, you know what? On that note, that might be it. Um, we're at a really good stopping point here. And... Uh, just going to transport my troops off this island and uh, prepare for an invasion of Kazakh and prepare for an invasion of Yarkand both at once. We should be able to win that, especially if we have level 19 Miltuk. So That's the plan. Um, at this point, I'm just going to keep expanding as long as I can before I actually take Mandate of Heaven because no one is supporting the Ming. So. Um, existing colony. 
Um, what else to claim? We don't really need a claim on our vassals lands, and I messed that up. Okay, well, on that note, that will be it for this episode, and I will see you guys all next time. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.